This is Randy Thompson coming to you live, and we have Trudy Adams on Miss Annie. We're doing our warm-up walk right now. For those of you who don't know Annie yet, this is Trudy's horse that she raised and trained. And she's 10 years old. You can see the history of Trudy and Annie in the playlist area of this channel, Randy Thompson Live. All right, Trudy, can you hear me? All right. I keep forgetting I have a mic on now, so we're playing with microphones today to see how that makes a difference on the video process. All right, so we're going to go right to the steps of connection, and I see that you're asking her to say soft to the rank connection, right? Yeah? yeah? Is you... Good, good. Now, what does the forward add to what you're doing? That's right, it engages the hindquarters. So you've got to think, the best way to get her to supple, and suppling is softening in the jaws to get her to step up from your leg into the rein and praise her. Good. Now you'll notice that, uh, that she has a tendency to drop her pole. So when you see that, it's not that it's a bad thing, but when she drops her head, we want her to poke her nose out. So to get her to poke her nose out while you're doing that, you have to get her to step up into the rein just a little bit more. Good. Good. Because we can pick up the pole a little bit at a time, we just want to make sure her throat latch stays open. If the throat latch isn't open, she can't take even steps on the front legs. Yeah. That's it. All right, now let's get off the rail, start doing serpentines and things that are a little more interesting. As you start your turn, remember, you're going to shorten the outside rein. Oh, there they are. So you can get her to lift her shoulder up a little bit. So just shorten your outside rein until you feel her starting to lift her shoulder. She's going to say she can't do it at first, as you can feel. Okay, now think leg yield first with your inside leg now. Now. Now, it's the inside hind is lifting off the ground is when I'm doing it. Now, yep, inside leg and rein at the same time. Think leg yield, bring your shoulder over with your outside rein and leg. Good. So we're going to do a couple serpentines. The next time you come back, we're going to add full circles to the serpentine. To the ends of them. Yep, keep her more active. So you can feel when you change direction is when she disconnects and slows down a little bit. That's one you want to get her to step up with a more active behind. And that's where you'll get her to where she'll sit down more and shift back and stay more connected on the aids, on the bit, in front of the aids. What other terms are they? The beginning of self-carriage. Good. Now add your full circle because now we're going to start the feeling of can you see between her front ears to see if the bending is correct in front of the saddle. So you're feeling the back end with the feeling of the leg yield. That's right. In the front end, you're going to look between her ears to see if she's positioned right in front of the saddle. Good. That's it. Ask her to get a little softer to your rein. So check, is she soft on both sides of her jaw? Does she release? That's what suppling is, is the horse releases to the rein. Check to see if she'll supple to both sides of the rein. And every time you use your rein, add your leg. Good. Add a full circle. Remember, use her back end first. Get her back end active first, then bring her shoulder over. Okay, we're going to change this a little bit. When you do your full circle, we're now going to do spirals so you can get the feeling of bringing her shoulder over more. That's it. Bring her shoulder over more. Good, good. Now you're going to use your right leg, your inside leg, until you feel her picking up your outside seat bone. And that's just so you can get the feeling of her stepping under you. And when, when she actually picks you up that way, you'll feel it by her lifting the outside, even though it should be the inside that you're feeling. But first we're going to feel the outside just to make sure she's really under your seat. So this is how riders can feel if the horse is under their seat, is by feeling that they're picking up the outside seat bone when they're doing a circle or a curve. As the rider progresses, they can feel more with the inside seat bone and leg, but first we have to feel if the horse is really under our seats. Good. That's it. Add a spiral, ending in a walk pirouette. 
Keep her active, count her back legs. So go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep the rhythm of her walk as you come in. Bring her, yep, look between her ears so you have the right bend in front of the saddle. Your left leg is going to keep her active behind. Good, keep her active. Soften her jaw so she's saying yes. Yeah, a horse is saying no when their nose is up in the air and they're, they're pushing against the bridle a little bit. So what Trudy is doing is feeling if Annie's really saying yes to every step. And, you know, Annie's just learning this. She's just learning how to stay connected like this. So she's not sure if she should be saying yes, no, or maybe yet. Good, good. And then try it the other direction. Keep the rhythm. Right, left, right, left. More march. More march. There, right there. Now keep that push as you come into a serpentine. Look between her ears so you have the right bend in the front. Think leg yield with your leg behind so she picks up your outside seat bone. That way you'll know she's straight from behind. Good, keep the activity. Right, left, right, left, right, left. There, there, feel the difference? I know, I know. <laughs> That's right. So she was saying now that we have headsets, we don't have to yell back and forth. And I've had headsets before, I just haven't used them on filming, so this is a new adventure for all of us. Right, left, keep the activity. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, good. And feel when you when she drops her head too far behind the vertical, you're going to pick her pull up with your outside rein, and she's going to do it a lot at first. Soften her outside jaw. Soften it more. She has to give you more. Soften her more. There, praise her a lot. Good. All right, let's add some walk halt transitions to what you're doing. Again, this is our warm up walk. This is Trudy Adams with Miss Annie. You can see their history over the past four years, I think it's been, in the playlist area of the Randy Thompson Live YouTube channel. Take your time. That was nice preparation, Trudy. Good. Take your time. Make sure she's soft. She's got a scratch. <laughs> That's right. It's better at the halt than when she's walking. She just ripped her boot. <laughs> she's such a little brat. That's it. <laughs> Premeditated Annie moment. <laughs> Good. Activate the back end. That's right. And then we're going to do some more walk halts. Just a couple more. Good. That's that's the right thing to do. So uh, Trudy's saying that she's checking to make she's going to different spots in the ring to make sure that Annie doesn't anticipate what she's doing because Annie is the great planner. If she decides we're always going to stop in the same spot, she will just do it herself. Good, good. I like your preparation for that. That's right. She did drop her head a little bit. It's better she does that than to poke it out or to do the other. And you know, she's still figuring this all out. Yep. Yep. That's right. And that's typical, as you know, for a green horse to resist like that because they just don't understand why we would ask them to do this. But she's starting to enjoy this level of connection now. Nice. Nice preparation. Yes, your position, you, you can't even see your position moving. She says she's waiting and just using a little bit of her hand to see if she'll drop her head and soften to the rein. And leg too. Yeah, and then the trick is to keep that she doesn't walk off. Good. Good. She's feeling the give, now she's feeling a little bit of a brace. When she feels the brace, what she's doing is she's just playing with the rein a little bit to get Annie to release in the jaw on both sides, then the paw. Yeah. 
Yes, so Trudy said that she still picks her head up or pulls it towards her chest when she takes off, but that's better than what it was before. And as I said, this is the beginning of teaching Annie how to stay more connected as she moves from being what we call a green horse into more of a training level dressage horse where they stay more connected. It's a big shift, and you've been watching it here live right here with all of us. Again, you can look up the history. Just go to the playlist area and look up Annie and Trudy, or Trudy and Annie, and you can see their history and how they got to where they are. All right, take a walk break, and then we're going to get started for the trot. Just let her cool out her brain and walk out for a minute. You might need a brain cool, too. Cool your brain.